Hello everyone, this is Jim Okrasinski with your special edition screencast video. So, um, today I'm going to talk about how we're going to use Drive for the peer review process, uh, for the drafting and peer review process, I should say. I've moved the Drive instructions from the beginning of the semester into the Literacy Narrative Unit. Uh, that way you can familiarize yourself with uh, Google Drive, um, got the course folder link here also the tutorial from the beginning of the semester and uh, what I want everyone to do is just uh, take a look at uh, some of the specifics here the ideal situation is where you would have once again uh, in your folder here and some students have already created folders you're gonna have your first draft right in this folder you're going to have a peer review report filled out about your first draft and then you should have a separate document separate gdoc being your final essay draft and you want to make sure to submit that final essay draft uh, to the assignment in uh, blackboard um, make sure you grab the right link the right version Right, you want the updated final version. Nothing irritates a professor more than if they spend their time grading and assessing and commenting on a submission and then come to find out that it was the wrong version. So you want to make sure you always have the correct version uploaded to Blackboard. So um, if I get to the literacy narrative uh, folder, you will find your peer review groups right here you according to the um, in, uh, instructions in Blackboard you must write two peer reviews uh, from your fellow students that are uh, grouped with you uh, in the peer review process so uh, I really don't care which students you choose in your group um, everybody has a draft try to spread the love as I say that give some feedback if somebody has uh, um, a, a one review or even two reviews move on to somebody else try to avoid writing a third review on any students draft uh, I understand sometimes I cannot control the peer review process who uploads in a timely fashion and who doesn't but uh, please do not bunch up on peer reviews all right so this is the peer review group you just look for a couple of students in that group and write the review so the way this works is, is you upload your first draft and you need to fill out the report so if you open up the make a copy of the peer report uh, peer review report too many yards there you're gonna want to make a copy first thing and it says make a copy all over this so let's make a copy here right you're gonna share it with the same people because everybody needs to look at your report so they can write reviews on your draft right so now we have a peer review report so what you want to do um, soon as this moves along here it's a little slow uh, rename this always with your last name I want to get an underscore in there let me tighten this up peer review report right so now you've created a document that is yours you can close out the peer review uh, report that said make copy right see now this stays here for the next student to come in and make a copy and rename it so here's my report let me close out that I'm getting into all of this so you would quite naturally be the writer you would fill in your name here you would write the peer review report right below number one all right you could just double click there and then begin begin here to write your conversation starter as I call it you can change the text color here All right text color you can go with the blue there's a nice blue and then you're gonna give three things so double click uh, did I yeah did I uh, cover the five W's okay so did you cover the five W's? Here's one of the things that you might want to consider. Let's go with the same color. And then here we go. Then you've written your report, right? Obviously, you're going to talk about it 
what you discovered about writing it. You're going to come up with three things that will that you think will help you write a better final draft. And then as the peer reviewers come in, they're going to read your report and then they're going to write their name in here and they're going to respond to what you have in number one and number two above. And also they're going to write to my prompts here. And as you can discover here, you can manipulate the document and do exactly what you want to do here. Um, Put my name in here now there you go so you 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 can it'll stretch out so just kind of format the document um, i'm not real fussy about formatting long as everything kind of makes sense i know who's writing what obviously this would be the writer section reviewer number one reviewer number two make sure you give me your names if you want credit right so this is going to be the peer review report that you complete about yours and then as I state in the assignment here, let's get to the assignment upload. All you have to do is grab the GDoc link. Let's see, SA1 peer review and report right here. Click on that. I'm looking for the link to your first draft and peer report. Click on write submission and you've opened up the text box here. So I'm gonna go in here Let's see, I'm gonna grab the GDoc link here. Just click on the, right click on the copy. Uh, go into the text box here, Control V, the hotkeys. And then I have the link to your peer report. Then if I had a uh, first draft, I would go into the first draft here in my folder in the literacy narrative, grab the GDoc link again. You're gonna wanna copy and paste that into the text box here. And then when you have your two links, right? GDoc link to first draft and peer review. That means I need two links. Let's click submit. All I have to do is just click on those links, follow your documents, and I assess from there, right? So uh, let me cancel that. Uh, that is the peer review process and the way we use Google Drive, all right? So I'm going to remove this copy of uh, the peer review report, my peer review report, and I hope this special edition uh, video, right? Uh, no, it's just file and trash. Let's get this out of here. Okay, um, this special edition video kind of filled in some of the gaps about what we're going to do when it comes to peer reports and uploading drafts. And then when you go to write your peer reviews, all you have to do is go into your um, group mates um, report, read their draft, should all be sitting in their folder and complete the peer review as directed. All right, so hopefully this all makes uh, sense. If you have any questions, uh, send me an email. Uh, in the meantime, uh, good luck.